off the face of the earth but there have been a few things happening in my personal life the biggest one was I recently moved and so I just underestimated how much time and dedication that would take to actually get all the things kind of like situated and just like the adjustment period of obviously my life changing a little bit because my day to day is very very different now and so I actually haven't filmed I think in a month the video that I posted two weeks ago um, the get to know me that was for my 32nd birthday I actually pre-filmed that before Christmas um, back when I was living at my old place and so yeah it feels really weird to kind of pick up the camera again believe me I have tried I filmed an apartment tour and my SD card corrupted so I am in the process of filming another one but I'm just gonna wait for my curtains to be delivered because I bought some curtains I don't like them they look very cheap and tacky so I've replaced them with some others and they should be delivered by the end of the week so hopefully I can film that for you next week so if you are interested in seeing where I'm living now then that will be up very very soon but I appreciate the patience nonetheless so to kind of ease myself back into filming I haven't got a proper setup at the moment so this is very kind of relaxed and almost like vlog style I didn't want anything too formal like a proper formal sit down video because I still haven't got like artwork and things on the wall and I haven't found a place where I'm happy with the background to actually do it sit down videos yet but for now we're just going to kind of do it sitting cross-legged in front of my sofa so I thought I would jump in and show you guys what I got for my birthday and some other random bits and bobs that I've also picked up along the way because obviously some time has passed now so I wanted to share a few bits that I got recently and like I say my birthday was on the 9th of January so I did get some birthday presents too so if you do want to see what I've got recently then just keep watching. So I'm not going to go in any particular order because there is an abundance of random bits and bobs so I'm just going to start with maybe like some beauty bits just because I can see them so I have picked up some new makeup recently um, I've kind of switched from cream products to powder products again I just feel like it kind of sits better on my skin this time of year I'll probably transition back in the summer to cream products but for now I just needed to get a bronzer and a blush that were powder based so I just got the Technic super fine matte bronzer this is a really good bronzer I've had it before and it just it does the job and it's super super cheap I think it's like under five pounds it just looks like that and it is what I'm wearing today and then I also ordered a blusher this is from Laval I think it is L-A-V-A-L -A -A and it's just this bright pink blusher and I absolutely love these kind of like deep pinky blushes I think that they look better on my skin tone I really like that kind of like peekaboo flushed look especially this time of year and I do do it on like my cheeks and my nose just so I kind of like I look like I've been out in the cold and this one I got from eBay, I think, and it was only like £2 something, so really cheap, really affordable, and they work great. So then sticking with beauty, if you watch my channel quite frequently, you'll know that I usually use wild deodorants, but I didn't want to pay a big bulk price up front and have like three little um, cartridges sent to me. I just wanted kind of one deodorant, so I actually picked up one from Amazon, but I was very, very adamant that I didn't want one that had aluminium in it. So this is the Procol London 100% Natural Deodorant. It's aluminium aluminium free and vegan and it's 100% recycled packaging which I just think is incredible it's also formulated and made in England so I thought that was really cool and it just comes in this green packaging 
and so far I've been really loving this so it goes on really really nicely I don't like aerosol deodorants I've never liked them but I also don't like wet deodorants one that takes a really really long time to dry on your underarms so I really like this stick formula it does the job really really well it smells incredible super fresh and I've noticed that obviously it just it does its job but these are probably my favorite types of deodorants to use and I would definitely be repurchasing this I think this was around six pounds fifty potentially so I think it's a really good price especially for an aluminium free deodorant next I'm going to move on to some like fashion and jewelry so the first piece that I've got is from TJC this is a ring that I picked up recently and I absolutely love it I just want to show you this just so that I can put it back on my finger because I did put it back in the packaging just for aesthetic purposes so it comes in this really sweet little box and this is what it looks like on my hand. I got it specifically for my middle finger and it's absolutely beautiful. I love the color of the stone. I think it's so, so pretty and it's not too tight on my finger. I don't really like rings that are too tight that make my fingers kind of look like a little bit bulgy. I'll come in a little bit closer just so that you can see it on me. I just think it's absolutely stunning and I'm really happy with my choice. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way. I can put the box away that's staying on my finger so the next thing that I'm going to show you is actually a gift it was a moving in gift from my friend she bought me this crystal set and it's a new beginning crystal set which is perfect for obviously the new beginning of moving into a new place and so it just comes in this packaging here and then you have all the crystals inside here oh, yeah. oh I think one's stuck in the bottom there we go and I put them back in the packaging just for the purpose of the video, but actually I've been having them out on the side in my kitchen by a plant that I have on the side, and I just think that they look really, really pretty. They're super dainty and really understated, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous, and hopefully they bring me some good energy into my new living space. So I know that wasn't fashion, so we will jump back in to the fashion and jewellery bit. The next thing that I picked up, which is something that I got for my birthday. I got a little bit of birthday money and so I wanted to give myself a little gift and I picked up this really beautiful handbag from Accessorize. I actually picked this up yesterday and it was 70% off so I got this for £10.50 and it's such a beautiful bag so for £10.50 I think that's a really really good deal. I just went in there kind of like on a lark just to kind of have a look and unfortunately I just couldn't help myself and one of the things that I love the most about this handbag is the length of the straps. I love the fact that I can wear this with a really big bulky coat and it's not going to kind of like dig into my armpit. I'm going to have plenty of room to be able to wear it on my shoulder. It is a really secure bag as well. It does come with kind of like a zip fast and this you can take on and off if you want to because I was I'm in an RN about it really because I didn't want the accessorized little bit here I didn't mind having kind of like the black um, faux leather patchwork um, like circle thing there but I didn't want it to say accessorize on the front I I don't know why, I just feel like it kind of cheapens the look of the bag. So potentially I might take this off, I might keep it, I don't know. But I really, really like it. There's no feet on the bottom, but it is just a big kind of like open pit for your stuff. And I have been using it since I picked it up yesterday. So absolutely love this. And for £10.50, I'm really happy with my purchase. I'm also just going to pre-apologise if the lighting's a bit funny in here. I'm actually side lit because I have a balcony and a window on this side of the room. So I'm not sure if it's kind of... Um, messing with the lighting and I don't have any of my studio lighting here at the moment so again apologies this might be a really rough and ready video but please bear with me so the next thing that I got myself is another bag I got a gift voucher to New Look and so I got myself a bag because I'm just bag crazy as you probably know if you watch my videos but I just wanted to get a cross body strap I absolutely love this because you can have it as a cross body bag which is kind of how I've been wearing it it just makes life a lot easier when I have a toddler that likes to be carried or go on my shoulders so that I don't have to worry about a bag slipping off my shoulder but if I do want to use it for maybe like a lunch out or something like that something where I don't have my son which is very rare um, you can actually double up the strap you can kind of make it a little bit shorter not double it up at all you can just shorten it and then you can turn it into a shoulder bag so you can kind of wear it a lot shorter and I just think that it looks really really expensive again this was on sale I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it I think it was like 19 pounds something um, but it was reduced and I just love how expensive this part looks so it's kind of got this faux leather quilted pattern at the bottom and then faux suede at the top which is just so beautiful and then the gold hardware just 
Mm. Absolutely love it and it's really really spacious actually. I can fit quite a lot of stuff in here including my son's essentials So really love this handbag another thing that I picked up from new look This is another recent purchase again with the gift card. I got this dress from apricot I've got a wedding coming up in September and I thought this would be a beautiful Wedding guest dress as well as just like a beautiful summer dress. It's absolutely stunning The only thing is I do need to kind of sew it in place at the top here just because it is a little bit um, revealing at the boobs and I like to kind of have a more modest look so I probably would um, I'd probably sew it up so that my cleavage is covered a little bit more but I absolutely love the colour of it I love the green with kind of like the really subtle floral print on it it's just absolutely beautiful it is elasticated at the waist the arms are the perfect length for me and it hits at a really nice point it's like a I would say it's a um, midi dress and then it does have kind of like a little slit as well so if the wind blows it will kind of expose part of your leg but you don't run the risk of obviously flushing anyone it just kind of gives like a little peak of leg so i picked up this next purchase in anticipation for the weather transitioning into a little bit warmer weather i know we're still a little while off of that and obviously we've got a lot of rain coming our way as well but i was really excited for kind of the warmer weather and i wanted to pick up some plimsolls so i got some from shoe zone these are just some basic bog standard plimsolls but i love to have them in my collection my ones are completely falling apart and the thing that i love about these is they were only six pounds something so really inexpensive and i just absolutely love having these i think they look really really cute with like a summer outfit you can wear them with anything dresses shorts jeans you name it you can probably pair it with any outfit so absolutely love this even with that dress actually i could make it really really casual and dress it down with these so yeah, like I say, these were from Shoe Zone and around six to seven pounds. I think they were like six fifty, six ninety nine, something like that. So super affordable. Next thing I'm going to show you is I did pick up the iPhone 14 Pro Max and I got it in the deep purple color. This came in a couple of days ago. So this is just the box that it came in. And this is the phone itself. It's absolutely beautiful. And... I've just got a clear case on it that I picked up from Amazon and then I have got a pop socket on there. So I did get these pop sockets from Amazon as well and they're just a range of different colours, kind of very basic heart pop sockets. So there's the one that I've got on my phone at the moment and then I've got a pink one, a purple one and a black one as well. So I've got plenty of backups when I want to interchange them. So I'm really happy with that. And so far I've been absolutely loving it. I'm really happy that I've moved back from Android to iOS because I really missed having an Apple phone. And if, if I'm being completely frank, I would not suggest getting a Z Flip 3. I know they do the 4 now, so unless they've done something different with the screen, I would not suggest it because my screen started to crack and chip where the fold was. And that happened within less than five months of me having the phone. I mean, I do love the design of it, but the functionality of it, unfortunately, with the whole cracking of the screen, every time I kind of like opened and close it, it was just making me kind of feel like a little bit on edge. And I miss just having like a solid phone in my hand. And it also, the one thing that I did notice as well is I think I've had it for a year, over a year now, um, the flip phone, and it starts to feel really flimsy after a certain point. So if I'm holding it in my hand and it's open, if I shook it, then the top would kind of flap a little bit. So I'm really not happy with that. And I'm super happy that I've moved back to the Apple iPhone. So I'll move on to another gadget now. And it wasn't for any particular reason other than the fact that mine broke. Um, so I needed to replace my UV lamp and I got this one from Amazon. This one I actually prefer to the one that I had. I really, really like this one. So I like that there's no bottom on it. So you can kind of put it as and where you kind of need it and I also like the fact that you can set it for a certain amount of time whereas my other one you couldn't really do that you could only do 30 or 60 and a lot of the time with my curing sessions I would like to do 90 seconds especially for my top coat layer so you have 30 60 and 90 seconds um, and you have a countdown timer here with my other one you didn't so I would kind of just sit there um, kind of like waiting for it to finish not knowing how long I had with this one I kind of know oh, okay I've got 15 seconds left and then it's done and it's really really powerful as well it's got a great cure on it so I'm really really happy that I got this and it just connects with this cable and then you can just plug it into a, a usual kind of like plug um, like you would for an iPhone charger so 
it's just got a little usb cable there really really enjoying this and like i say i picked it up from amazon so i'm going to move on to some homey bits now i did have to fully furnish the place that i'm living in every single piece of furniture pretty much is brand new apart from my coffee table my coffee table is the one that came from the old place that i was living in i've had this since i lived at my old house so um i couldn't see this go i really really love this table but everything else like the sofa tv stand all my kitchen bits and bobs pretty much i had to get them new but i can talk more about the furniture if you are interested in the apartment tour you'll just need to let me know in the comment section down below whether or not that's something that you want me to include if not i'll kind of just skim over it and i won't tell you where i got everything from but i'm going to show you some what should i show you first i'm just going to start with a really boring thing so i needed to get a water filter jug because I just, I love the taste of filtered water. It's also so much better for you um, than drinking like nasty tap water. I just wanna make sure that my water is the cleanest that it possibly could be. I also only put filtered water in my kettle just to kind of hopefully um, reduce the amount of limescale buildup that will happen. Hopefully that kind of like slows the process down of the limescale buildup. But yes, this is a really nice one. The one that I had before, you used to have to take the lid off and then fill it up. This one you kind of just push that and then you can fit up which I absolutely love and then it just came with a bunch of these filters to go with it and I think the filters last for a month at a time or like 30 days um so I really really love this and my water tastes amazing and I picked that up from Amazon then I'll show you I got this really beautiful re-diffuser I think I got this from B&M and it was around four to six pounds I don't actually have the liquid that goes in the diffuser so it doesn't actually give off any scent just because I have it in a place where my son can reach it so I don't want to risk him touching it and then touching his mouth or you know spilling it on his skin so it's just purely for aesthetic purposes until he's of an age where he's not interested in playing with it because at the moment like I assumed would happen he absolutely loves to kind of like take these out and play with these little reeds so I just kind of leave it like that and I have this next to my TV to go with that I did want to get a wax melt burner I've wanted one of these for a really really long time my sister actually got me onto these because she has them in her house and her house smells incredible so um, I obviously got a bunch of big candles and then I just got this really pretty one it's just kind of like this white almost like a broidery anglais dress kind of thing with these like little um, cut out flowers and at the moment I think I've still got the candy cane scent in here because I haven't actually burnt this for a while but I did pick up the fresh cotton scent to go with it because this smells so fresh and so clean and I just absolutely love my house smelling great it's such a nice feeling to walk in and just be hit with like a really fresh smelling place so absolutely love these and these are only like a pound a pack so I think that it's a really great price and who doesn't want their home to smell really, really nice? This is super boring, but I'm just going to show you because I'm blown away by it. I got this from TK Maxx a couple of weeks ago, and it is this can opener. And this is the best can opener I've ever bought in my entire life. I always cheap out on can openers. I just begrudge paying for a decent can opener, but I took the plunge and I actually bought a really decent one. And it goes through cans like butter. It is so easy to open a can with this. And also, it's really pretty as well. It's just got green silicone handles and then just gold all over so super boring but really really handy to have next up i thought i would show you my knife set just because i got these from amazon and they're actually really affordable and super cute and really aesthetic i know people are very much into the kind of like neutral toned um cutlery and cookware at the moment so i picked up this knife set from amazon it comes with a bunch and i think they were only 16 pounds for the entire pack and they're actually really good quality knives they're super super sharp i haven't used all of them yet especially this big boy geez louise but um i've been loving using these and they're like i say really good quality so yeah again they're from amazon i'm trying to kind of speed through this because i do have a lot to show you so um we're going to stick with cookware the next thing that i wanted to show you is some of the pots and pans that i got so i got them all from the same line and i'm only going to show you two of them because one's in the fridge but i got this absolutely huge casserole dish which i love cooking in like i love cooking a big stew in here and i love the details of it the wooden handles i think are so beautiful with the contrast of the light color absolutely amazing and it is so so big so i absolutely love this and then I did get the matching saucepan, so I do have one that is smaller than this as well. And these are just so good. The non-stick on them is absolutely incredible, and I just think they look really aesthetically pleasing. So I can't remember if I mentioned them, but I picked them up from TK Maxx. And they were relatively, 
affordable, I would say, for what they are and the quality of them. I actually think they're really reasonably priced. Reasonably priced. I'm trying to talk too fast. So they're from the Hawk Cuisine line and it's the premium collection. So if you're interested in grabbing any of them, I kept one of the tags just so that I can show you what line it's from. So I've just got a few more bits to show you, not too many now. So the next thing that I just wanted to share is a birthday present that I got from my Nan. So she just got me this really sweet little bird tin. I think that it's absolutely adorable. And I love the feel of this tin because it's got like a kind of matte feeling to it. And I actually just keep my son's um, magnetic letters for the fridge in there just so that we can kind of take them off and start afresh when we're ready to play. So I really think that's so, so sweet. I wouldn't have appreciated this when I was younger, but now that I'm getting a bit older, gifts like this really just bring me so much joy. It's such a simple gift, but it's just, it's just really sweet and I absolutely love it. I then got a gift from my wonderful friend. She bought me this book. It's called Breathe, Mama, Breathe, and it's five minute mindfulness for busy mums. So I've only got a few pages into this so far, just because I am kind of in the midst of reading another book at the moment. But I did want to kind of start this and just have a read because I definitely want to be a more mindful mum. I'm very conscious minded of the fact that I want to be mindful, present, and not regret any of the time that I had with my son while he was small. So I think that this is going be great for me to kind of have a little read through and anyone that has a toddler will know that sometimes there are moments where your patience wears a little bit thin but I always try and put myself in my son's shoes especially when he's having like a meltdown just because he can't regulate himself like I can possibly regulate myself so it is my job to kind of teach him and guide him and this I think will kind of like help me stay in the positive mindset to remember that I need to stay calm too so really really excited to give this a read. Then because I'm getting super organized this year there are no excuses 2023 is going to be my year I wanted to get a diary so I picked this up from TK Maxx and it's just this really beautiful kind of like wildflower um diary and the thing that i love about it is it's completely blank so if you do miss a week that's absolutely fine you don't have to like skip a page and waste paper so you can literally just put the week of and then start your week and put your bits and bobs so you have kind of like your days down here you've then got notes and i like that you have two columns of to-dos because i always have a lot of to-dos then reminders and then goals of the week so i think that's a really nice layout and it's coming in super handy and then to go with that, I did pick up this really cute little pen. I just got this from the card factory. So it's just this kind of really milky pink pen. And then it has this dome with almost like this pink sparkly pom-pom on the inside. Really, really pretty. And I just love having kind of like aesthetically pleasing pens. It just kind of, I don't know, like if you've got to write a boring old shop in this, this just kind of amps it up and just makes it that little bit more enjoyable. I missed a fashion piece. So I'm going to show you this because it's incredible. But I picked up a new bathrobe the other day from Amazon. It's a hooded one, but it's a different material than I'm used to. I always go for the ones that are really, really soft and fluffy. This time I went for one that's kind of like more of a towel texture and I'm obsessed with it. It's so warm and it's so comfy. And also if you wear it when you get out of the shower, you don't stick to it like you do with those really fluffy ones. So this has just been absolutely incredible. And I got it in this really nice white color and it's just absolutely perfect. So again, picked it up from Amazon and I think I got mine in an extra large. We're nearly there. We've just got a couple more bits to have a look at, mostly for my son now. So the next thing that I picked up again from Amazon because I get most of my things from Amazon, but I got this. Do you know what it is? It's a net, so it's kind of like this little hammock that you can make, so it has three points that you can hang it up, and it's basically a hammock for my son's teddy, so I'm going to put this up in his room so that his teddies aren't having to be like on the floor or in his bed or up on the windowsill. I just wanted to have like a set place for them because he does have a lot of teddies, so I thought that was a really good idea, and this was just under five pounds, I think. I think it was like four fifty. I'm at that stage now with my son where it is toilet training time, not potty training, toilet training. And so I got him a little loo seat with a matching step. So fingers crossed, this is gonna help his transition to the toilet now. So it, it helps as well because I can use the step to kind of get him up closer to the sink so that we can wash his hands, which has made life a lot easier. And funnily enough, actually, when I'm filming this, last night, he actually did his first wee on the toilet, which 
I hope that's not TMI for a lot of people that are watching that maybe don't have children. But mums do talk about this a lot of the time. I actually noticed that me and my friend talk about like our children's bowel movements quite a lot. So um, yeah, I was really, really proud of him. And it was just kind of like one of those one of those milestone moments that really made me smile. So that's come in super handy and we've only had that a few and days. And the last thing that I've got to show you is this kinetic sand set. So I kind of want to say this is my son, but actually when I saw it in the shop, I think I got more excited than he did because I really wanted to play with it. But secretly I was like, oh, would you like mommy to get that for you? Um, so when, because I, like I say, I had some birthday money that I had to spend on myself. When we went out yesterday into town, I bought myself the bag. So we had £10 each. I thought that was like a nice compromise. I wanted to get something for Theo and I wanted to get something for myself. So I got the bag for myself and then this was £10 from Starlings. And it comes with so many bits actually and we played with it last night and it is so much fun. So you get two colours and then you get all these little gadgets to kind of make loads of different types of bowls, shapes. It's just, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of... I'm kind of reliving my childhood through my son and he had fun too so I really like doing fun kind of like little activities like this with my son I think that they're really fun for both of us and a really good way for us to kind of bond and spend time together so that is everything that I've picked up recently like I said before I filmed the apartment tour if you want me to go a bit more in depth about the furniture that I've picked for the space as well then please do leave me a comment down below and just let me know but like I say I will be filming that very soon I really do appreciate your guys patience with me the fact that I haven't filmed in a little while and I have taken a little unscheduled break but I'm really happy to be back and filming and super, super excited for some upcoming content. If you did like this video, then please do remember to give it a thumbs up just to let me know and also consider hitting the subscribe button. It is free and I would love to have you come back for more videos. Other than that, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.